And yeah, okay. So this thing should be, it'll be okay for now. And we can always just adjust it later on. Let's just hope it works. So we'll close this thing up. And then we'll add the water. Actually, we'll add the water before we close it up. Because we don't want it to be entirely dark and have mobs spawning in already. I also don't want to run out of run out of nether blocks because then it's just going to be entirely incongruous and it's just going to look ugly. Although if you don't fancy nether rack, it may already look kind of ugly to you. I don't even know. We're sort of red and green are opposites, so we're sort of just I don't know. If you're a color person, we probably just ruined the I the it's not the feng shui of the the forest. It's just we've we've ruined the color scheme. It's entirely clashing with the rest of the forest. But I don't care. <laughs> At least it's not on Jerry's tree. It's not desecrating the color scheme of of Jerry's tree itself. And now we have to do an entirely. Uh, actually, we'll just work in. We don't need to ring around any further. I don't know if we're gonna make it. Actually, we may need to go back into the Nether. And fortunately, we our spawn in the Nether is is just. It's a cave with nothing to worry about, so worst case, we can just head back in there and finish this up because uh, another rack is easy to collect and very plentiful. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's gonna be close. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to fill this thing in, unfortunately. Bummer, bummer skis. All right, well, we'll go back into the Nether and we'll I don't know collect a couple more stacks or something it should be fairly quick and easy but that is again assuming nothing goes wrong in a place like the nether which things can always go wrong in anyway all right we're not going to be able to complete the roof with 20 so we're gonna head back and what's the easiest way to get down here fortunately we got lots of mountains surrounding us so easy method of of exit all right here we go and we head into the nether once more, except this time we don't need to kill anything. We just need to, well, unless you, unless netherrack is alive, which wouldn't surprise me in a place like the nether if just everything is alive. Ugh. That's scary. <laughs> That's a scary notion. The netherrack is like watching us, feeling us walk on it. Mmm. Mmm. That just brings a whole new degree creepy to being down there. Okay. I should have actually calculated how much we need exactly, but eh, never hurts to have more. Then we can expand it without heading back down. You always kind of—he always kind of startles me when I when I come up here. Like when I was about to start recording, I turn around and he's right there, and I literally—I thought it was a creeper or something. I was like, "Oh my god, no! Don't blow up my chests! <laughs> how much that would suck if all my stuff got blown up! If a, I'm." And the tree should be well lit enough so that no creepers will spawn. But you never really know. And no mobs at all, I mean. But you never know, do ya? Alright. Let's head into the nether. For the first time using the newly rearranged portal area. Downloading terrain. What the f Oh my god, that scared me for a second. I was like, what the hell have I just spawned in? Okay, there we go. Whew, chunks are slow. <laughs> it's like, oh god, no. I just spawned in nothingness. Okay. Well, anyway, let's collect some netherrack. That freaked me out. My heart stopped for a moment there. Dig out this area. And look at how quickly you get this. Also, wears out your pickaxe like crazy. You know, I've always thought another way to go about with item durability is how many swings you take rather than how many blocks you actually destroy because obviously how it's always been is is your items have a certain number of block destruction possibilities which to me has never really made any sense if you think about it like it takes with a diamond pickaxe what 15 seconds to break a block of obsidian that's what i i don't even know how many swings that is if you're doing like it's probably like three swings a second or something so say 45 swings to break a piece of obsidian, which is also the equivalent of breaking 45 blocks 
of netherrack so it seems like i don't know i don't know but it's also it's a world of cubes so we're not i know i know realism here not top priority but i've always kind of had that in the back of my mind like why can i swing 45 times at obsidian and lose the same durability as swinging i don't want to use my diamond stuff on on netherrack that would just be a bad idea so now it's just going to take really long. Well, we have two stacks, so that should actually be enough right there. That was brief. Thankfully, this stuff destroys super easily. But why can I... It seems like each hit should be a loss of durability rather than... I don't know. I don't know. Ignore my crazy babbling. <laughs> we have enough to finish now, and that's all that matters. All right. Let's... Uh, we actually want to sleep it off. I would use the diving board, but it's nighttime. All right. Oh, I'm tired. Oh, I feel so re-energized. Oh, it's morning already. All right. Well, now let's go down to the spawner with all our newly acquired netherrack that took like two seconds to collect. <laughs> what a good material to build things out of, if you think about it. Ooh, should I do this? That's risky, man. That's risky. Ooh. I'm tempted. I don't know. I'll start a little lower. We'll get practice out of it first. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right. Here. That should just... Drop me all the way down. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We could like work our way higher and what, dude? Dude, are you backing away? You're backing away because you know I'm mad. Dude, seriously, bro. Evil Knievel. You just you just took your daredevilness to a whole. You freaking you jumped off the tree. When I named you Evil Knievel, I didn't mean you actually had to comp You were like, you were dangerous. You lived life on the edge. You lived life on the edge, but you didn't actually live life falling off the edge. You were on, You were always on it. Now you're off. Good God, that drop. What are you, th what were you thinking? What were you thinking, dude? Oh, there's, hi there. You're somehow not here in the shade, I guess. Well, hey, do you wanna, you wanna deal with him? You want to deal with, should I lead him in? Yeah, let's do that. Here. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Come over here. I'm going to lead you to someone who really wants to meet you. He's he, he's going to be really happy to say hi. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do this. Come on over. Come on over. It's good. It's going to be really great. All right. Follow me over here. Yeah? Yeah? All right. Yeah. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> good day to you, zombie. Yep. Well, I guess that's a benefit of having him down. No, but what if they spawn up there? I know it's supposed to be well lit and all, but you never really know. <laughs> well, that was fun, nonetheless. Let's head back up and complete this thing. All right, man. I got this. I still have my shovel. Trying to, yeah, there we go. All the way back up to the top. Okay. And before we close it off entirely, oops, I don't even, oh well, I can use my pickaxe on it. Just gotta, just gotta hopefully not mess up too much because it's very wasteful to use a diamond pickaxe on where? Where are you? What? Wait a minute. Are you... The skeleton? What the? Oh. Oh my god, it's a spider jockey! <coughs> I just... <coughs> oh my god, that noise that I just made. Dude. No, 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 no! 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 Oh god. That's why... Why'd you have to spawn there? Oh no! I was gonna put him in like a glass. Oh my god, that sucks. That sucks so much. I was like, how is he dying? He didn't spawn inside. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Dude. The spider jockey spawned with the skeleton inside of his. inside of a block because he was too high and then he. Suffocate. Oh, oh. No, I didn't realize. 
Oh, I wish I'd realized earlier. That makes me so sad. It's like the only time I ever want a mob to spawn is that those are so rare. Oh, no. I'm so sad right now. Oh, that's disappointing. That's so disappointing. God darn it. Ah. Oh, I wish I'd realized earlier. I wish I could rewind the clock right now. And go back and... And not be dumb, and be like, why is there a skeleton making dying sounds? Whoa, hello there! Hello! Oh, there are two of you! Oh my god, where did you come from? Ow! 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 Ow, get me out of here! That's what I get, apparently, for- Ow, why can't I move? That is apparently what I get for letting him die. Hmm, okay. I need to transfer to my sword very quickly here. My Bane of Arthropods, I should just have that in my hot bar, but I don't. Alright, Bane of Arthropods. Oh, let's go. Okay, there we go. Well, you're dead. <laughs> that was easy, but still. Okay, that's what I get for not paying attention to the spider jockey. I deserved it. What can I say? What can I say? That is going to haunt me forever. The fact that I did not... Well, I guess at the same time, um, oh, it may have been the fact that he just burned to death. Although he was in the shade, he may have been on fire. I don't even know why that didn't come to mind, but whatever. <laughs> he probably burned to death. I, the world may never know for sure, but that's my assumption. Okay, and where's the other guy? Is he still in there? He's still in there? Hello? Hello, honey. Hello. There you go. Much better. Now that you don't have a jockey on you, I feel less bad about killing you. Alright. Keep messing up with the block placement. There we go. I should have filled my bucket while I was over there. Oh well. Live and learn. Live and learn. Well, at least, I guess that's a good omen in terms of mobs potentially spawning in our spawner. So, with with tragedy comes positivity? Is that even a saying? I don't think that's a saying, but whatever. Alright, we gotta leave ourselves a way out. Which will be over here, I guess. Alright, let's run and fill up our bucket, run back and forth multiple times filling up our bucket in order to complete this thing. Yeah, why not? Alright, here we go. We'll light it up just to make sure that no mobs spawn in here while we're finishing it. Okay. I hear it to zombies. How are you even spawning during the day? I don't understand. Are you left over from nighttime? I'm confused. Anyway. There we go. Fill up the buckets once. Hello there. How are you doing? Oh, I just destroyed the sugar cane instead. Fantastic. Goodbye. Let's fill up from the same messed up spot. Ooh, there's experience at the bottom. Dive for it. Yeah. Alright. One of three. <laughs> now we need to... At least we got a couple bones from it. And, uh... Yeah, I, th I I don't know if he suffocated or he burned. I really don't. Anyway, make stairs up to the top. And there's one. Head back down. And get two. No, now we have two messed up areas. <laughs> Oh, I need to be more careful. That was dumb. Oh well, we're so close. We're so close. I know this, this better work. This thing better work, I swear. Alright, and then we'll- ouch! Didn't mean to do that. Then we'll just have to uncover the lava. And we'll be good. It'll be amazing.
Here we go. Yeah. So that's complete. So now we need to head down there. We'll just have to like dig it and escape out for ourselves. Um, oh well. This is fine. Grab that. Head on out of here. Waste that. <laughs> All right. Bam, that place is covered. Taken care of. Actually, I probably should. Now there are going to be mobs falling when I'm trying to. Actually, no, I'm just not going to get 24 blocks away. Yeah, that's the best way to go about this. All right. Mm. So we're going to want to. Actually, we should be fine. I can unlock. Uncover the lava from the outside. I'm just going to need some extra cobblestone to make it congruous. There we go, actually. Yes, should work fine. Bam. Watch that go over. All right, cover it up. We'll use the nether rack to mark out the lava. And there we are. Voila, just as it's not even turning night yet. It's just a little shady here. So we'll light this up, just so we don't get mobs spawning all over the place. And then, oh god, I forgot I forgot to put the last water in. God darn it. Okay, we need to... I need to get one thing of water, or else we are just going to have a bunch of... a big backup of items that aren't going to go anywhere. Alright, head back over as it does become night. Right. I hope I don't screw something up and just let lava loose. Oh god. I'm gonna... I'm just gonna dig this out. So that I, it doesn't do anything stupid. There we go. Bam. Alright, do we get the cobble from that? Yeah, we did. Boom! Okay. Now, we probably won't get too many spawns at night just because we're gonna have mobs spawning everywhere. But during the day, hopefully, hopefully we'll see some items come out. Um, we're gonna find out soon enough. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep it off. And, ooh, fingers crossed, man, fingers crossed. This thing works. Just have to be 24 blocks away. And we'll just like, we'll chill for a little bit. We'll just chill, we'll talk about the weather, you know. Not a big deal, not a big deal. Maybe we'll head back down into the mine. See if we can find some diamonds, because we're gonna need some more of that, eventually. How's my armor doing? I probably wore it, wore it out somewhat on those falls. It's fantastic, completely not clumsy falls of mine. Hmm. All right, sleeping on through the night. And now we'll just, I'm gonna chill for a bit, 24 blocks plus away from, from our new spawner, and hope that the things happen. That might be a little close right there. All right. All right. Well, you know what? I'm I'm a bit hesitant to claim success here, but my fingers are crossed that we've got some spawnage, and so I'm gonna jump off the tree. I'm gonna head to it, and we're gonna we're gonna hope <laughs> we're gonna hope that we've gotten results here. At the very least, I hope that some mobs have spawned in, in inside, even if they haven't actually run into the water. Whee! Here we go! <clears throat> but I don't know. Judging by just how well our past couple spawners have worked, nothing would really surprise me. I do hear spiders. I'm hoping that's from the inside here. Yeah? Anything? Anything. I'm hearing stuff, but nothing is dropped. Ah. Mm. Oh, that's why, because the spider is not actually inside. What? What a butt. God damn it. Is there anything in there? Humor me. Humor me right now. Oh my god. Huh? Anything? Anyone in there? No one in there. Next thing I'm going to be told is that mobs don't spawn on netherrack, and I'm going to be like, well, that's just great. <laughs> that is just fantastic. Oh, well. That may be, a case. It may be the case. I don't even know. And if it is, I'm going to be like, wow. I just messed up big time. 
In which case, ha, I will need to uh, revise some stuff, won't I? Let's go in, actually. I want to go in and make sure that it, it's dark enough. At the very least, it should be. I don't see why it wouldn't, but... If no mobs spawn at all, it means I probably messed up and mobs won't spawn another rack and I probably should have checked the wiki beforehand before I just had this ingenious idea. But... Damn. That lava is bright. Holy crap. It should be dark enough back here in these corners though. It really should. I could even... I, I might even be able to cover up that lava. Yeah. Either way, th these corners should be dark enough, but whatever, man. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> oh, eventually. Eventually we'll get something right here. It'll happen. You can feel free to inform me what, m what potential problems might be at the moment. And I'll... I'm gonna go inform myself right now. <laughs> and we're gonna get this thing working. It's gonna be awesome. I hope.